Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Chelsea with Tree of Life Chiropractic. We are coming to you live from our office here in Rochester, New York. We specialize in seeing kids um, with all different abilities and capabilities on the spectrum, not on the spectrum. Um, and we love seeing kids here thrive and um, we just love seeing their stories change and thrive through the office. And we have two moms that we asked to join us today that we wanna show um, their story of their little boys. We have Sarah and Stephanie with us and they're gonna share their stories of their two boys that have been a part of our office for over a year now. And their stories are both very unique and different and wonderful. And we um, just wanted to have them put them on film so that maybe you might be watching this and thinking like, oh man, my kiddo does that, or my niece does that, or my nephew does that. And so that you can maybe see a different side of um, care that you could ser um, search out for your kiddo or someone you might know. Um, so let's start with Sarah. I just wanted to have you kind of introduce who your son is and what he had, what your challenges were before coming in and what your goals were for him when you started CARE. Yeah. Um, so like Chelsea said, I'm Sarah and um, thank you so much for having me today. I really, really appreciate it. My son's name is Noah and he is just so full of energy and life all the time. And he was diagnosed with ADHD two years ago. Mm -hmm. And at first we, we thought maybe he exhibited some of the ADHD tendencies. And um, so as a family, we thought, okay, what are our next steps? We want him to feel better about um, his life and be able to interact with kids in a little bit of an easier way and be able to um, thrive in school and at home. So we searched out different alternative treatments rather than going the medication route. Entry of Life was something that was recommended from a friend, yeah. actually, who was here, which is really nice. Yeah. And so when Noah started CARE, I think that he's hyperactive all the time, and that was something that was challenging at home. And then when he's not um, hyperactive, sometimes he has hyper focus, mm -hmm. which is actually what we call one of his superpowers. And that was really challenging sometimes for transitions from going, you know, from the home to the car or going anywhere. It was hard to get him to focus on what he needed to do to leave. So that was those are things we were struggling with when we first saw, came in to, yeah. to start our treatment. And initially, too, he was still in traditional school. Yes. Yep. And then at the same time, you also decided to homeschool. Yes. Yep. Tell about like how he, what kinds of changes you started to notice mm -hmm. with him um, starting care in his body. Yeah. So at first, they were subtle. Uh, he was a little, his sleep, I think, was the first thing that was, was great. Mm -hmm. Sleep, he always, during the day, really ran all day and was very hyperactive. So he would fall asleep but not stay asleep. And he was still having um, some struggles with uh, bedwetting. And that cleared up almost within two weeks of starting chiropractic yeah. treatment, which was huge. And he was sleeping better, which we noticed was um, really helpful. He was sleeping through the night more, mm -hmm. uh, which was great. And then over months of treatment, we noticed that his ability to take in some stressors and react to them was improving greatly. He yeah. used to throw big tantrums um, and have trouble when he would get upset. And then after chiropractic care and after he had been coming to the office for, I would say, like three or four months, he was able to handle those challenges mm -hmm. and just I don't know, he just didn't seem so aggravated in stressful situations. I thought yeah. that was a huge, something, a huge benefit that I noticed after his Yeah, treatments. yeah. And like you said, it's not like a overnight one adjustment, all right. of a sudden your kiddo is cured, but he, mm -hmm. over time you stuck with it and you knew that this was yes. a good thing to calm his nervous system down mm -hmm. and you stuck with it and then eventually you started seeing more and more changes mm -hmm. as the months went on which is awesome and he's still coming in now and he's doing great yeah. and he is yeah. nine now right yeah and yeah. when he started he was eight so not yeah. wetting the bed is a huge deal for an yes. eight-year-old yes. I mean yeah yeah mm -hmm. thank you for sharing yeah thank you so Steph why don't you share um, a little bit about your son and what you were looking for when you first started care and what kinds of changes you started to notice with him well, you're probably going to have to stop me because I need no Nixon. So um, 
When I took the leap, and I say the leap because I had thought about chiropractic care since Nixon was first born, but never um, really took the leap. Um, mm -hmm. So when Nixon was about four is when the pandemic hit and schools were shut mm -hmm. down. And he was in pre-K and he was making small um, leaps forward, you know, steps forward in pre-K with all his therapies and stuff. And so when school was shut down, um, I was devastated. Mm -hmm. um, I thought, you know, because therapies weren't going to come to our house, I thought he's going to regress. Mm -hmm. um, he, he never slept in four and a half years, um, ever slept through the night. Um, he's nonverbal. Um, he's very, very hyperactive. He cannot, he could not sit still. Um, he's very sensory seeking, um, running around constantly. Mm -hmm. Um, so when school closed down, I just thought, I just cry. I mean, I would just cry and cry and cry. So, um, someone who came to the office suggested and pushed and pushed and pushed, just mm -hmm. come, just come. Just come. Yeah. So we mm -hmm. finally did, and I and I thought he is never going to get on a table because he is scared of doctors. Mm -hmm. He's scared of doctors, and um, we came, and he didn't need to get on a table. Um, Dr. Chelsea would just walk around mm -hmm. with him and adjust while he was playing and running. And mm -hmm. within the third time visit, we were here. Um, he slept through the night for the first time yeah. in four and a half years. That's great. Yeah. And after that, I always say we were hooked. I said, mm -hmm. if anything else did not improve, I did not care. Mm -hmm. Like he was sleeping finally. And, um, and then just after that, I mean, he had no therapy, no school, mm -hmm. um, through the spring and, Everything improved in his life. Yes. Hyperactivity reduced. Mm -hmm. He was able to sit at at the table with me and focus mm -hmm. on a worksheet. Mm -hmm. You know, um, he was able to sit and watch a cartoon. Mm -hmm. You know, to the point where I kind of asked his doctor, like, "Is this normal? Like, mm -hmm. is he too sedated?" And the doctor just basically said, "Like, this is what a normal child, you know, a neurotypical, you know, whatever mm -hmm. child." acts like like mm -hmm. just sit and enjoy it or mm -hmm. do something else mm -hmm. you know it just was so odd because he had been going and we mm -hmm. had been running for mm -hmm. so long mm -hmm. yeah. and it was just non-stop mm -hmm. for so long it's like now we can literally like sit and learn and enjoy yeah. Yeah. you know like I mean for it's the just first time life in changing. years, you were able to like sit and enjoy your little one and yes. not just be chasing yeah. him. Now we sit and do arts and crafts yes. and, you know, and he's trying different foods mm -hmm. and he can sit at the dinner table mm -hmm. for more than like a second, mm -hmm. you know. And <laughs> the other day, Nixon said his first word, it was mom for the first time. And that is the first purposeful oh word gosh. that he has ever said. So, you know, like um, kids will babble and they will say, you know, like they will stem. So those, you know, kind of, it's like babbling, but it's not. It's mm -hmm. just like using their tongue or their mouth. Yeah. Um, but this was a purposeful word that he worked so mm -hmm. hard to say. So exciting. exciting. Yeah. So exciting. We've been waiting for that moment. A couple yeah. of months into the care, I was like, Stephanie, I had a dream yeah. that Nixon Aww. came running in and he said, hi, Dr. Chelsea. <laughs> and he's a nonverbal autistic kid, but sometimes I just get those feelings. And so when you share that, it's just like so amazingly heartwarming. And one of the things that you said, Dr. Chelsea, is, you know, this is not a cure for autism. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't looking for a cure. Um, you said what it's going to do is help him be open to the therapies that he has provided. Yeah. And and when he got back into school and therapy started again, mm -hmm. he even advanced even more because he mm -hmm. was open to those right. those therapies. Right. Yeah. And he's advanced even more. Mm -hmm. Yeah you know, since then, mm -hmm. so. And he's continued sleeping. It's about a year, right? Yeah, that's huge. It's yeah. been a year, and every time he has like a, mm -hmm. a lack in sleep, mm -hmm. when we bring him in, literally no one believes me, but mm -hmm. we bring him in and tell Dr. Carl, mm -hmm. and he adjusts him, and that night he sleeps. And he sleeps, mm -hmm. yeah. 
Sweet. No one believes me, but I am like, I swear to God. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what we do is we really are calming down the nervous system for both kiddos. Both have very different stories, obviously, mm -hmm. different upbringings and everything. But the major goal here is that we're mm -hmm. not focused on neck pain and back pain. Mm -hmm. Like you yeah. said, Stephanie, you were so mm -hmm. like unaware of what we were doing and how it had any impact on mm -hmm. kids on the spectrum because really people think about neck pain and back pain for mm -hmm. chiropractic. They have no awareness as to the nervous system and the importance of the nervous system in the body. And so for kids that we see here, we're really calming down the nervous system and we're getting them out of that fight or flight situation. We're getting them out of that stressed and protection mode. And so many kids and babies are born into that stressed out mode right now, whether it's because of family stress or physical stress in the mother's womb or maybe um, stress um, chemically, maybe they're under a lot of medications or formulas, and those things all have a compounding effect on the nervous system, which are really kind of against them right now. And what we do for all the kids in here is calm the nervous system down and see how their body is going to um, react and see how their body might change. And like you said, like it's not going to be a cure for autism or ADHD, right. but it's going to allow them to be the best version of yes. themselves, yes. which both of your boys needed mm -hmm. a little bit of help with. And mm -hmm. now that they're able to thrive with turning the nervous system on and getting that functioning mm -hmm. better, it's been so great to see the transformation and changes. Yeah. 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 So what would you tell parents who might have been like you, who were like maybe a little reluctant or mm -hmm. unsure of like, why should I bring Nixon or why should I bring Noah? Like, why should those parents who are watching bring their kids who they might be reluctant or fearful or unsure of what it is? So, I, do you mind if I go? Go. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, I, uh, yeah, I think, especially for Noah, so he was, he was in um, second grade when he was diagnosed with ADHD and we went to his primary care doctor who's lovely in so many ways. But, um, you know, I felt like the general trend is to you to prescribe medications immediately. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I was really nervous to do that because I didn't know how those would affect him being so young. And so we were really at a loss because I felt like the system pushes medication, especially for young boys and girls yeah. who have ADHD. And so for me, that was really overwhelming. And I said, okay, well, you know, let me look up the medication, the side effects. Um, and I just felt like, you know, for him to just sit in a desk all day to be medicated, but then for it to wear off when he comes mm -hmm. home, to me, that didn't seem right. Yeah. Something about that just did not seem okay with me. It didn't set, you know, sit well with me. Yeah. And, you know, um, my husband and I, we work full time. Um, it, it would be easy to have, you know, gotten the medication for him and just done that so he could have um, been quote unquote normal and gotten through the school day mm -hmm. because we are really busy, but I just was, it wasn't okay. You know, it's, it's my kiddo. And, yeah. and so we had a friend recommend, you know, us to come here. And I just feel like if you're uncertain as a parent, just try it. I think the thing that for me that was the most comforting was how, relaxed you and Dr. Carl are and there's not any pressure to do it like just to come in and have a consultation and you're so gentle with Noah because my concern was that okay well his little his little spine yeah. you know you know he's growing and that was a concern for yeah. me too you know I don't want him to be over adjusted or manipulated in ways that I'm not comfortable with but there was never a time coming in that I felt that way. So Sarah, tell me how do you think that care is continuing to make a difference after you know a year of being under care? Yeah, so I think um, you know for Noah, everything that we talked about before, sleeping through the night, no more bedwetting, um, able to handle stimulus, I think in a in a better way with less stressful reactions. I think yeah. that's continuing really well. Um, but we, you know, we had a good test with COVID because during COVID when it hit, we actually paused, we stopped coming for a while just to yeah. transition. And I think we were nervous as a family about um, going out. And I think, you know, all families try to do the, did the best with what yeah. happened at that point. So we took, I think, gosh, probably three or four months where mm -hmm. we didn't come um, to see you guys. And I remember at 
month two, maybe even earlier, my husband said, wow, I've noticed a huge difference in Noah's behavior yeah. since we stopped going to see Dr. Chelsea and Dr. Carl at Tree of Life. So that was huge. And I think in that moment, we knew that, you know, he was having a really difficult time um, managing some of his emotions mm -hmm. and he was having so many outbursts and sleep was harder to come by yeah. for him during that time and so we made the decision we said okay you know as soon as we're able to get back to the office we know that's something that we have to build into our life for him yeah. and you know and I think that's huge and now we come twice a week sometimes once a week you know with schedules but that's another thing I think parents should know about uh, your practice is that it is so flexible there have been days that I call an hour before and I say, Chelsea, or, you know, I can't, we can't make it. We're uh -huh. doing this today. I'm so sorry. And the availability that you have saying, oh yeah, you guys can come tomorrow or Thursday. You know, it's just so helpful if you're a busy family like yeah. we are. Um, and we travel a lot for skiing and, and we're, you know, we do a lot. And so I think it's, that's really, really, really helpful. And that's huge because we can still get our twice a week appointments in, even if maybe our normal appointment, you know, we yeah. can't make. So, or I'm much. always calling and mm -hmm. saying, I know we have a 545, mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> but can we come at 430? Yep. Cause I got off a little early and yeah. I just want to, you know, end our mm -hmm. night early and they always get me in. Yeah. 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 Or we're out and about and it's hard to transition sometimes with no for Noah once he's home mm -hmm. so it is helpful to mm -hmm. say are you guys free do you have any time so that's yeah. great that's huge cool I'm glad you guys appreciate it we do try and be flexible because mm -hmm. we see so many kids mm -hmm. and families mm -hmm. kids are not on a schedule like mm -hmm. we might try and have a schedule here at the office mm -hmm. and the more you try and put them in a mold of a schedule we right. just know that that's not going to happen right. so we understand yeah yeah thank you so Stephanie, what would you tell parents who are wondering if this can help their kiddo and maybe questioning how it can help and questioning if it could work for their kiddo? What would you tell them? Um, I, I would absolutely say, you know, try, take the leap. Um, mm -hmm. For us, um, at the time we were definitely in crisis mode. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I was in a, a high anxiety very depressed about what was going on in the world at the time mm -hmm. um and really just taking a risk um and we did we took a risk it's a commitment mm -hmm. it's three days a week mm -hmm. we're still coming three days a mm -hmm. week a year later it's one of something that nixon actually loves mm -hmm. doing mm -hmm. um we just build it into our routine um and for me just seeing Nixon's improvement, I don't know if you noticed, but when we first were coming, I mean, I was a mess. I, I mean, emotionally, mentally, physically, mm -hmm. um, and just seeing his improvements, I mean, this is now how I get ready every day. I am dressed <laughs> now mentally, I've mm -hmm. improved. Mm -hmm. I mean, emotionally, I've improved just by seeing his improvements. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, in addition to now, I'm also a patient, so I think yeah. that is helpful. Yeah. Um, my anxiety is a lot less. And so, you know, our family as a whole mm -hmm. has improved because, like, sleep is better. And I think any um, family with a child with autism or, you know, even ADHD mm -hmm. who doesn't sleep, mm -hmm. you know your right. family stress is increased. Any child who just doesn't sit for mm -hmm. a second or mm -hmm. is in elopement risk, which mm -hmm. has reduced for Nixon, mm -hmm. um, you're always on high alert, mm -hmm. which increases the stress in your family. Mm -hmm. Our family unit, the stress has mm -hmm. reduced because Nixon has improved. Yeah. That's so huge. Um, That's and great. it's just like, just commit for a little bit and just see. Yeah. yeah. And then if it doesn't work for you, right. it doesn't work. Yeah. And tell him about how you were like, oh, he's not gonna get on the table. Like you had, you were like, he's not gonna get on the table. He's not gonna let you touch him. And all of that stuff, like we figured out ways to, we have lots of tools in our what? belt for different kids' situations. I mean, he would roll around on the floor <laughs> and you would just 
you know, <laughs> just go with it. Yeah. And then one day, because you have like an open concept and he saw kids and people getting on the mm -hmm. tables, one day he just walked in and got on the table and put his face down yeah. as if he had done it a million times. Yeah. And now he just does it. Mm -hmm. And you and I were like almost about to cry. Right, like what, how does he yeah. learn this? But he also still runs, plays, yeah. and has a ball here. Like it's his favorite place to come. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like this is his playground. And not only that, but it improved his relationships mm -hmm. at his other doctor's offices. Yeah. He That's was great. less scared to go to the doctors now, um, which is fantastic. Yeah, we yeah. really try and not feel like a typical doctor's office that most of these kids have already been to specialists and medical doctors and, and all sorts of things. We try not to fit that mold. We really try and make this feel like home, a safe place, comfortable, that they can run around and thrive and be happy here and it's fine. Like everyone who's here who's a patient, they know who we see, they know what we do, and they're they're all loving and and love both of your boys and all the other kiddos who run up and down this hallway yeah. all day. <laughs> um, and we just are so thankful for both of your families in our practice and for all the other families who might be watching. We would love to have your family be a story that we could be sharing next time we do one of these videos. Get, us, uh, get a hold of us um, in different ways. You can go to our website, which is www.treeoflifrock.com. Um, you can shoot us an email, which is drchelsea.tolc at gmail.com. Or you can get a, um, give us a call, which is 585-340-6031. We would love to serve your family and help your family. And most importantly, please share this video because whether you know somebody um, or you don't know somebody with autism, I guarantee that somebody on your Facebook or Instagram has a kiddo with ADHD or autism who would really benefit from hearing this story. So thank you so much for watching and we'll talk to you guys soon.